Hello everyone, I'm Thibaut Keller. I'm very happy to do this little uh, online workshop uh, because we've recently had uh, a lot of activity on the forum and on the chat. So I thought it'd be good to do sort of a, an informal um, uh, showing of how SCORE is usually used and, uh, and the sort of features that people might be interested in. And so I was uh, already sharing some uh, links that uh, I'll put in the, the description of the video. So today we'll take a closer look at SCORE, but uh, SCORE is part of the uh, OSIA uh, ecosystem, uh, if you will, that uh, has uh, a lot of uh, bindings in a lot of uh, different uh, environment, like uh, we can see here. So uh, for Super Collider, Qt, uh, Unity 3D, Faust, Open Frameworks, and you can can find all this documentation on the Libosia. But what we'll look today in, uh, in details would be SCORE. So SCORE would be sort of the brain of the whole system. It's an interactive sequencer. So it's a sequencer that has a, a sort of a, a different uh, definition of time compared to normal sequencers where you'll have multiple timelines and also the timelines are relative or conditionals. But we'll look all of this in, in more details today. On the site, you can go in the score tab and you can look in the features tab here. And uh, it's still ongoing. We haven't uh, referenced everything yet, but you'll find uh, hopefully very soon uh, some information for a specific feature to, to score and the different kind of applications uh, you can use score for. A lot of them are still empty, but there's already quite a few paragraphs and uh, examples you can find in here. This is more in, in byte size, but for the, the full length documentation, you can go into learn and docs. And this will bring you to this site right here, which is ossia.io slash score dash docs. And here you'll have everything uh, for a qu quick start. So some definition, the terminology, widgets and uh, and options like the communication options. The documentation is currently um, in development. So we have a disclaimer here. The documentation as well is being uh, is being worked out by uh, mainly by Julien Rabin, who's doing a great work at trying to lay out everything uh, clearly. And then you, you have a little reference manual. And uh, for example, you'll get uh, some uh, very, uh, very quick uh, idea of how to create, uh, for example, uh, uh, processes and how to add them and stack them and all that. But we're going to look at that uh, live uh, right now. So this is also the forum that most of you know and most of you use. We're very happy that uh, you, you, you find uh, some of the answers, hopefully, uh, to the questions you may have. There's some very interesting work at the moment done by uh, Jan Mott on a uh, score for the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi support is something that comes up often, and Jan is doing a lot of uh, groundwork at the moment uh, to, to troubleshoot, and jean michel is doing a lot to uh, try to follow. And then the chat, so Ossia score, on Gitter, you can ask your questions and uh, hopefully we can uh, answer them in a more uh, informal way here.